Let's purchase some items first. Onwards to level 9, Ship Armada. Should have called it Airship Armada. Of course, this place would have a bunch of cannons. Bomb. Secret. Hey, Rufus. I sure do. This place looks exhilarating. Interesting how we collect the golden seed first here. And here is the red seed. Away we go! Wait for all of them to jump down to get the combo. Or that can happen. Oh well. At least it doesn't send us back to the start of the section. Doggy! Hmm, this is gonna be a bit tough. Case in point.
Back attack. I'm glad the Slash Sass is one of the first abilities I obtain. Can't deflect shots vertically. And here's the green seed. If it hasn't been made obvious, this is Racket Girl's stage. Speaking of which... Not really. He was also the same age. Time to beat some sense into you. <laughs> um... This was a pretty fun first phase. The Seven Skies? Well, we're wearing quite a bit of red. Round two. Two damage. Victory! I was trying my best not to break her AI. As I've heard, there's a pretty easy exploit for this fight.
Glad to have you back, Saki. Nice. It works almost like a double jump. You're right. It works like a half jump. And just like my other abilities, I can spam it. But there is a cassette I missed earlier, so let me grab it. There it is. Here's the AI breaker strategy. Let's get another health upgrade. Onwards to level 10, Ivory Palace. Time to rescue the last member of our team. They can launch Pigsies back at us. This is the soccer guy stage. Not falling for that. A lot of trophies dedicated to this guy. But they can't handle a football charge. A big door for a big ego. Considering how much gold and vanity stuff is in this place, that's probably it. And here's the red seed. There he is. Wonderful. Golden Crushers. Miss me. Ow. Thought so. This is obviously the soccer guy's palace.
Wait, 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 wait. Can't fool me. I noticed the gap in the wall when I was traveling up. This is one of his treasure rooms. Got crushed against the ceiling there. Um... Sure. This crusher is the most aggressive of the bunch. Hey, Rufus. No kidding. A vain palace to match a vain fellow with an oversized ego. Welp, that doesn't work. I still have time to get the cassette. I thought I missed it earlier. Here it is. That was out in the open. These bouncing spike traps are following me all around the screen. I'm going back for those. I'm not gonna miss them. Even if I have to take some hits. Captain Ace. Are you sure about that, Ace? Oh? So, he betrayed us. Uh... They're not so silly. And all of us took a beating.
Regardless, it's time to rumble, soccer champion. Did he? He's more of an enforcer. But more important than that, they're friends. Precisely. Oh yes we do. In this universe, I believe it'll go pretty far. He has his own soccer saucer. He has a shockwave too. Not too tough, however. I still believe there was some subtle mind control at play, in addition to playing off of his insecurities. I wouldn't put it past Lord Vicious to do something like that. Two second chances, then. Hmm... His dad. I get the feeling that we'll be seeing him again in the near future. A stomp. It's a stomp attack with a shockwave. Simple to use, but incredibly powerful. And this opens up the route to the final stage. As for the Ivory Palace itself, although not as challenging as the preceding level, it posed a decent challenge, especially near the end with the bouncing spikes which followed me throughout a section. Next time, I'll be taking a short detour by doing the optional levels. <laughs>